Get, get the shotgun ready. Here comes the doggy. I think he's close enough. Oh god. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. In the last part we came across a lot of items that we couldn't pick up because the inventory was full. And I went round and picked, them up, picked up all the items, took them back to the chest. So now we've got all the items like in the chest. So we don't need to go around looking for stuff when we need to find it. And um, when we came into this room, we found like an ink um, thing here, you know, for the saving. And I just completely missed the shotgun on the wall. <laughs> so we're going to pick up this shotgun. Um, I've put the pistol away because I need the shotgun was here. And I want to use the shotgun instead because it's a lot more pokey, you know, powerful. And I've also got the... Okay, that... Lead that um, the hooks seem to lift up then when I pick the shotgun off it. So that's set off some kind of mechanism. We're gonna go back out. Alright, so I was wondering why this room. <laughs> was here because there was no reason for it to be here because like but it's a trap you know that's the whole point of it being there so the door won't open that's where we came from try the other door door won't open oh god what did i do now wesker barry help jill you in there barry get me out of here the door's jammed stand back Grab my hand! Did he shoot her? She's not moving. What's the chances of Barry being outside the door? You know, he completely went the opposite side of the mansion. And it just so happens that when she needs him, he's right there. He's a good guy. Barry! That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. He sounds a little bit suspicious there when he says I had to find something, look for something I had to check. Um. Alright, so we've got the shotgun now. It's going to be a lot more damaging. Now, there is a another key we need to get. And, hang on right there. Let me try and figure out where, I'm, where I am. Let's go around this door. There is another key we need to get. And to get the key, when you pick it up, I died previously um, in between recordings. Because I recorded it and it, I died, so I didn't want to keep it. There is a section where, when you pick up the key a trap happens and I died and I looked up how to figure out the trap because I couldn't figure it out for like it was taking me a while to try and get my head around it and you have to get a different key and put it in the place of where you pick up the first key and to get that key I mean I don't know how you're meant to figure this out like without knowing this like without looking it up you're meant to use a dog whistle that we found to get a dog to come and that dog will have a key on his collar and then you use that key to place the other key, the key that you pick up that causes the trap. But I mean, like, if you don't know that, figuring that out for yourself is going to be a hard task, you know? Barry. So we're back in the hall. Here's Barry. He's going to shoot us. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's got to be a back door somewhere. All right, then. Let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. <sighs> Acid shit. Fizz. It's not like soda. <laughs> you know? Sh yellow and mellow those things, he called it. Okay, so thanks for that. Always give us you? some shells. Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Do 
Even though it's like a modernized game remastered, they've kept a lot of like the cheesiness of it. You know, it's all very like still 90s. <laughs> now, if we go back here, we're gonna go above the dining room again and go through a door that we haven't been through yet. Because there was two doors. Excuse me, there was two doors um, here that we didn't check out. Now, I think if we go to the furthest one first. So we used the mansion key. So I'm guessing this was a, um, a sword key. Lock. We're going to go in here. Now this should take us out to the balcony. So we use the, So it looks like any of these doors that like lead outside. You can use a lock pick to, to open them. Because we've done one of them previously. So now, if we stand here, check this out. Dog whistle. If we use it, a dog will come with a chain around his neck. So you blew the dog whistle. Get, get the shotgun ready. Here comes the doggy. I think he's close enough. Oh, God. Now, there should be a second dog. Yeah, here we go. I don't think I killed him. Nope. Seems takes two shots with the shotgun to kill a dog. So let's reload the shotgun now. The first dog died here and he flew back over there. And he dropped his collar. And if we look at this, you would take the will you take the collar? Yes I will. Now if we examine this collar. We can spin it around and stuff. Check it. Is a switch, will you press it? Yes I will. So if you look at the look at this, it looks like it looks like nothing. A coin. Now, if we check the coin, there's nothing unusual. Let's turn it around. What's that? It changed into the shape of a key. <laughs> That's pretty um, bizarre. It's like it's a lot like um, what do you call it? Dead Dark Souls. You know, like where you meant to put on like a certain ring to jump down a hole to fight a boss that you're never gonna know was there until unless you do what you had to do. Oh, I'm gonna, let me just go through this door. I think this will unlock the door that leads to the mansion. Yeah, the, the hall. We don't need to go through there. We just want to unlock it in case we need to come through here quickly again. So we've unlocked that now. Now, I think we just took a damage from the dog. And oh, no, actually, it says we're fine. So we just bounced off our chest. It didn't actually damage us. I was going to say, because there's some herbs on the ground here we can use to heal ourselves, but we don't need to now. So you probably don't need this dog whistle anymore. Discard, yes. I mean, I'm going to trust in the game right there and say yes. <laughs> Alright, so we're in a new area here we haven't been before. Do a little bit of exploring. Okay, there's a zombie right there. Check that door in front of the zombie, I guess. Actually, he's a bit close. Um, let's get past this zombie on the stairs. Whoa! <laughs> Now we've got a door here. So that key, apparently, you use that key to replace a key that you take, which causes a trap, and then you you stop the trap by putting the fake key back back where it, in that spot. So um, we've got another chest here. We're gonna put some stuff back in the chest that we don't need. I mean, we don't need the acid shells because I think you probably need a set a different gun to use them. Unless it is shotgun shells, I don't think it is though. Could be. <laughs> um, got a typewriter as well. We can save. A well-used bed. It looks quite comfy in here, doesn't it? <laughs> For a zombie apocalypse. There are several kinds of serum here. Many of them are of a sickly colour. Just check around the, the shelves and stuff. Pills, elixirs. Many of them have changed colours. Yeah, there's nothing useful around here. Um, I think we'll save again. Just because we've made a little bit of progress. We've got quite a few ink ribbons as well. Okay, so we just got done saving right there. I'm gonna go back out to the um, and explore where we haven't been in these corridors. So there's a zombie right there, come towards this way. Now, yeah, this is all new to me. You used the lockpick? Okay, so we unlocked that door. Let's check this out, seeing as we opened it. I think it's always a good idea to open a door that you've never been through before for the first time when you pass it. Okay, so we've got something. 
Is that another shotgun? What's that? Will you take the battery pack? Yeah, okay. The broken shotgun. Hmm. I'll take it, but I don't know why. Let's examine the shotgun. Check it. It's broken and can't be fired. Maybe there's no use for this. Turn it around. No. Nothing to be seen for this. Okay, so maybe... I don't really know what we're going to use that for, to be honest. There's a desk here. Oh, there's an ink ribbon. That should give us three more saves. Yes. That's good. There's um, some kerosene there, it looks like. Can we climb the ladder? No. Just rested against the wall. So there's kerosene there. I'm not too sure what kerosene is used for. Um, because there are a few points where you can pick up kerosene and put it in a flask. Right, let's check this door. So that one's locked. An emblem of armor. Okay. So let's let's check this drawer as well. There's nothing but cleaning products inside. It smells faintly unpleasant. So let's try and get past this zombie. He's on the stairs. Let's just run past him. There we go. And now there's another zombie back here, wasn't it? Okay, that's locked. There's a door behind him. Maybe. We get round the back of them. Yeah, that's cool. So we unlock this door. I'm guessing that was another sword key door. And we might have to shoot him on the way back if he's very close to us. Since we go through the door. Okay, so I know we unlocked it from the other side. We've been here before. Okay, so um, let's go back through there. It's so confused. They're trying to figure out where I am. You know, because the because ca the camera angles change as well. I think if it was um more like modernized where you can have the camera behind you all the time you wouldn't get lost as much but because the camera's always changing you can like lose your bearings quite easily now hang on before we carry on alright guys I just went back to um, the chest and put away the ink ribbon and the broken shotgun just so we got more slots and there's a zombie in the way there so I'm going to go around the long way round and go through this other door that we haven't been in here we go. Now this should be the room where I died <laughs> doing the trap. What is it? Hang on. Okay, there's pistol ammo there. Let's pick that up, why not? Got a few slots there we can use. Now this should, um Oh no, this is where we've just been. Okay, that's where the door we just unlocked. Okay, I think it's this way. Oh god, the zombie get up. Okay. He didn't get up last time, so we must have triggered something to make him become active. By making progress in the game. Okay, so if we got look at these armor sets here. There's an inscription on the shield, death is only the beginning. Okay, so that doesn't sound too pleasant, really. This is like a real crazy looking trap. Okay, there's an inscription on the shield, death is the true essence of bliss. Now if you look at the ground, there's like tracks on the floor, like tram tracks. Um, and those statues are positioned like on the tracks. So there's another one here. There's an inscription on the shield. Death is everything. Okay. So the, the other shield, the previous statue we looked at, had spikes on it. And what happened was I picked up this, and the above the other statues came together, and these walls closed in, and I died. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pick up this key. May whoever take this emblem find peace in death. So will you take the mansion key? Yes. <laughs> now, the, the one that we got from the dog collar looks a lot like this one. So what we're going to do is... Ho I've never tried this, but hopefully this will work. So this statue's coming to kill us. I'm going to open the inventory. I'm going to get an imitation of a key. And you use it. Hey! So we put it in place. So we got a new key. So we can unlock more doors now. We just need to figure out where those doors were. Which is going to be... Pain for me to figure this out. <laughs> so I think this. I'm guessing it's armor key because there's like armored statues. I don't know. Because it doesn't tell you what it is. It just tells you. So it's definitely not a helmet. It just tells you it's a mansion key. It doesn't tell you which one it is. Which which doors it's opening. So um, we'll head back now and we'll try and like fiddle around with a few doors that we couldn't open before. Shit, there's a zombie right in front of us now, isn't there? Actually, let's pick up these herbs. 
So we could use them at some point. We'll make our way back to the chest now and put some stuff in the chest. Okay, I'm not sure which, which way this door leads. Oh, what's that noise? Oh shit, there's crows on the on the ledge now, on the shelf. They weren't here before. <laughs> That's a, that, that, look at that camera angle right there, isn't that creepy? <laughs> So this is where Kenneth died, all that time ago. Yeah, his throat's been torn out. I think we killed the zombie, didn't we? No, we didn't. Okay, it's locked from the other side. I don't want to waste shotgun ammo. So once again, yeah, what we did last time is we lured him around. <laughs> so let's do that again, because I'm sure there's a door behind him. That is a sword key door. That that's the only door I think that we haven't unlocked with the um, the sword key. Um, because when I was editing a video, I noticed that that was a door. That I don't think we went through. So I want to quickly just come over here and check it out. Okay, so that wasn't the one I was thinking of. It was around the corner. But this must be the the key that we just got. I don't know if I'm making this sound complicated or what it actually is. Just. Okay, we're at a bar now. There's stuff to pick up here. Um, ink ribbon. Okay, so at least we know where that is. What have we got? There's a piano. Okay, it doesn't seem to be a lot here. Um, there's some shelving on the other side, I think. How do you look at that shelving? I've seen it. Like, See there, by the side of the piano. There we go. Um, it's a bit of a weird. Oh, here we go. This is such a weird angle to get to. So I'm pressing X there. There's nothing happening. Same again. Yeah, there's nothing to be seen. But what, what is the purpose of this? And you push it. Oh, look at this. Yeah, because you can kind of see it stands out a little bit. So you can push that bookshelf. So you can't carry any more. So. We might come back to that once we empty up our... See, this is like the real pain with this game, is the inventory. If you get a backpack, that'd be so neat, you know? So let's go out this door. And now there's another door that we didn't go through around the corner, I believe. The zombie's right there. Um, I'm sure, yeah, there's stairs down here. So that was a sword key door, I remember. There's no further use for this key. Okay, so we looked, unlocked every door with the sword key. So we discard the key. That's pretty good. That gives us some more inventory space. So where we are now, I have no clue. There are bugs on the ground though. Oh, we're in the kitchen. Okay. Now I think I'm carrying pistol ammo already. So I'll pick up this ammo because it will stack. Um, there's a knife there, that's good. That goes into the, the, the defensive slot, so it doesn't take up any inventory space. Now, a bunch of spices you've never seen before. This place is messed up, look at it. It's like they've been cooking for, like human flesh. Alright, so... Oh, look at this, this corner, the blind corner. I don't know, oh, zombie on the ground. Okay, so here's the lift shaft. Um, the power doesn't seem to be turned on. So we need to find like a generator to turn that on, it looks like. Maybe that's what the kerosene is used for. I think once we turn on the power, that zombie's going to come to life. It's just the way games work, isn't it? Alright, so... So, shit, what is this? Is it just a normal zombie? So I just kite him around the... I didn't know there was a door there. There's a door here, what's this? It's locked from the other side, okay. So, yeah, we don't need to... This guy's no problem. I don't know why they hyped it all up there with the cutscene. 
Look, see ya. <laughs> Bit of a filler cutscene there. It wasn't really necessary. <laughs> you can do some cooking while he's in there, hopefully. Okay, and this zombie is still here as well. Let's see if we can run behind him. Actually, wait there. Ooh, I nearly got bit there. That was silly. Turning around right in front of a zombie. We've got a free inventory slot now, so I'm going to check out that um, thing that we got that we revealed behind the um, the bookshelf. We can leave the, um, the ink ribbon for now. Okay, the bookshelf's moved itself magically. So, will you take the musical score? Yeah. What is that used for? Examine it. Musical score. Turn it around. Anything on the back of it? No. It's titled Moonlight Sonata. That's all you can tell me about it. I thought they might have opened it. So, should I play the piano with that new musical score? Let me just see if that works. I don't think that'll do anything, to be honest. <laughs> no. <laughs> what would that ever use be used for? Maybe, you know, we picked up like a book, the curse book um, in the cemetery. Maybe you can replace the slot where the book was because it was in a like a, um, a hole. Let me get past this guy. Wait. Okay, so. What's next? So we got a new key, of course. Let's um, go back out into the. Yeah, I was going to go back to the chest and empty a few slots. Okay, so I'm making my way back to the chest here, guys. And there's a lot of doors, like, being opened. And, like, jerking about. So I'm a bit, we're a bit worried about the amount of enemies coming in. Alright guys, I've just emptied my bags right there, my inventory, um, got four slots left now, so we're going to go back out again and open a few of those doors in the next part with the new key that we've got. So thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!